But we've defined faith as that substance of something hoped for, evidence of the unseen, and that being the God that we serve. We don't see him with our eyes, do we fill him with our Holy Spirit? We know from the cloud of witness in this awesome book right here that the thing of things about God and the things of the Lord are real. And they exist and always have. And we believe in that, but we place our faith as a believer. But let me get back to the definition of belief and faith. Let me imagine, I got a chair. I won't go in my office and get it. But let's imagine this chair, this chair on each side of the pulpit or the one you're sitting in. You look at that chair and you say, I believe that that chair. I believe that that is a chair. But to have faith, you take that chair and you sit down in that chair and you activate that chair. You put action to your belief and you come out with a thing called faith. Folks, we as believers need to activate that faith. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. See, when we focus our faith on an object, that being God, and God designed us to put our faith in Him, and that being the object of our faith, knowing that Jesus died on the cross, we believe and we put our faith because we received Him, didn't we? A lot of people are, that verse chapter chapter 3 verse 16 said that, that, that who shall believe in should not perish. Every time I hear that word should, it reminds me of how many people are in hell today that should not. But we believed in Jesus enough to where we trusted him. We got in that chair. We got in that plane. We stepped onto that bridge. We got into that vehicle. See, that is the transformation from belief unto faith. And then we travel and we go exactly where it is that the what? The Holy Spirit leads us. The object of our faith is now within us. And we move about and we follow God. And God Almighty, we pray to Him in the name of Jesus. And we believe in the Holy Spirit works within our life. And He touches other people's lives. We're talking about the principles of faith, Pete. We're talking about the principles of faith. See, a belief is merely head knowledge. Anybody can believe. It means to believe in something. But faith is to depend upon or to trust. In the Old Testament, the word for faith was trust. The object of our faith is God. Now, the Bible says that it's not wise to put our faith in the chariots and horses. Put our, chariot, put our faith, rather, in the man. Because you know something, man is going to die. We studied an awesome Sunday school lesson. Thanks, Scott. Wonderful, wonderful. Could not have done it better myself. And I, I was talking about the Day of Atonement. Talking about Jesus being that ultimate atoning sacrifice. See, in the Old Testament, sin had to constantly be atoned for. Because that atonement would expire. But when we put our faith in God and we put our belief from Jesus to trusting in Jesus, we receive Him, that means that we take upon our lives in full belief and activated belief in the trust that that blood shed will wash away our sins and we receive a newness and we are a new creature and old things have passed away and we say, Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We activate our faith. We move forward and an active and a living faith will allow the cross to be that finish line of our sins and heaven to be the finish line in life. Amen. 